it's Pete here and I'm back for a fun bridge tournament. Let's just jump straight in and see what we can actually do. So to start all you have to do is click practice and then exclusive tournaments and hopefully by now you've played it already before and it'll pop up there otherwise you can click view all tournaments and find it in there. Anyway let's jump straight in see what we can actually do. Alright so just giving me the tutorial at the moment because it's the first time I've logged in on this computer. Alright. So, one heart, one spade. What do we have here? We've got seven high card points. We've got a fit, so it just looks like a nice, easy two heart bid. And now, the opponents are competed to three diamonds. West made a take out double for both miners. Uh, I'll just pass here. I've got some defense here, so defending three diamonds seems reasonable. Nobody is vulnerable. I don't have any real reason to compete to three hearts. All right, let's just quickly see if we can turn off the uh, display pop-up bids. No, we, we want to see that. We'll, we'll keep going. We'll see how we do. Um, Alright, so we're just going to lead our suit. Okay, so low heart lead, and our partner won the king. Um, Alright, so my partner's got ace king to five hearts. East has two hearts, probably, otherwise my partner has six and would have competed. So let's give my partner ace king to five hearts and singleton king of diamonds. It also looks like they've probably got four spades, so maybe a four, five, uh, one, three shape. Um, now my diamond suit's getting picked up anyway. East has ace, ten, nine, fourth. So ace of spades, spade to the king. They're blocking up the spade suit, which is kind of interesting. Um, now the Queen of Clubs, I've got a club trick, and if I don't, the shape's a bit different. Okay, so, uh, yeah, I'm fairly sure on the shape here. Um, let's cash the Queen of Hearts, because that Nine of Clubs is set up for a winner, and the Seven of Clubs will also be a winner. Now, they can presumably cross her off at this stage, but also the, the other hand's becoming really good, so I want to shorten the East hand. In trumps, it might make it harder for them to pick up my diamond suit. So let's just play low there, and they played a diamond to the queen. So we've now got a diamond winner. So they're going to go club. All right, and diamond to the nine. That one. Ah, yeah, they've just got the uh, last tricks here. I can't force them again, so holding it to three tricks. I reckon this one will be okay. Let's have a quick look. 66%. Someone opened one no trump, got to play there. Some people got to three hearts down two. I don't see any real reason to try and compete there, but holding it to nine tricks scored us 66%. Uh, Moving on to board number two, this time we've got a 10 count, we're vol against not. I do have six diamonds. The question is, is this worth opening? And it's close, but I'm going to pass. Take out double from my partner opposite a passed hand. So the question is, do I want to try something like three no? So if we've got a decent diamond fit, we might be able to get six diamonds and a heart. I need my partner to have king, queen, third diamond, ace, king of spades. That's a 12 count. I should probably only bid two no trumps or maybe three diamonds, but I'm really going to go out there on a limb and try three no trump. It's probably a bid that would be better played at uh, match points. Okay, so I'm not sure why my partner didn't try bidding four spades, but here we are in three no trumps. And I think we've got a double heart stop, which is good. 
Okay, and we can probably get six spades. Uh, if I play a low spade to the queen and then... Hmm, looks like I want to try and set up the spade suit. So as long as spades aren't 4-1 with East having 4 to the jack, we're all good. So spade and a spade back. Okay, East was hopping in with the jack, so I guess they realised their jack was falling anyway because they had a short club. They just discarded a heart. So a heart 6-2 or are they 5-3? Um, but Dummy had uh, Queen of Hearts, so they had 18 points opposite my 10, so West has all the other points. I'm fairly sure I'm going to get them in some sort of end play here. Sort of have to guess their shape. There's one heart discarded. Another heart. Okay, so I've let go three hearts at this stage. Um, so I've still got king ten of hearts, so I've got two hearts at least, and I let go three hearts. So I, yeah, I've let go three hearts. So I've got six hearts and three spades. Let's just see what's happening here in the club suit. We haven't seen any club. The question are, are they a 6-3? Six, 6, I reckon they've got 6 spades, 6 hearts, 3 spades. They might have a singleton king of diamonds. If they've got a singleton king of diamonds, I reckon I could play diamond to the ace, diamond. Um, there was only 12 points missing, which makes it look like East could have one point. They could have the Jack of Diamonds or they could have the Jack of Clubs. West still has two hearts left. I feel like I'm going to play for Singleton King of Diamonds. No. Okay. So, at this stage... I don't think there's anything more I can do. I've sort of given up all my chances. So I, I could have end played them. But if if I got a singleton king of diamonds, I would have taken uh, maybe all the tricks. So that would have been pretty good. Um, I think this might be okay anyway, playing in three no trumps rather than four spades. 66%. Lots of people made, well not lots of people, but some people made 12 tricks. So let's just have a quick look here. So East only had two points and West had six hearts so I have to guess did West for their opening bid wow well, they open, only opened a 10 count I guess they're probably less likely to open an 11 count with a singleton king than something else so I probably should have uh, played for this sort of layout so that was a, a little bit bad anyway uh, let's move on to board number three Okay, so here we've got 14 high card points, first position to start with one diamond, then ooh, one heart. My, heart, my hand's got better so I'm going to make an invite, I'll jump to three hearts here. Three spades, is this just a cubid? Uh, first or second round control, I'll cooperate, I'll cubid in four clubs. Four no trumps, and we'll show three key cards. Six hearts. We might be a bit pushy here, but uh, I think we're okay. So we sw swap over, see who's actually uh, going to do this. Okay, so we're off the Ace of Diamonds. We get a spade lead into our hand. Uh, if hearts break, then we can prob like If hearts and diamonds break, then we're just all good. I can throw a club from the north hand. 
And so let's just put in the jack of spades. And we kind of kind of have to guess who's got four hearts. So low heart to the seven and two. So if anyone's got four hearts, I feel like it's more likely to be east because otherwise west is actually randomizing their cards. This would be a much more solid read playing against a human player because uh, the six of hearts is missing and if east had jack uh, eight, six, two, they'd usually play the two. Whereas if west had jack eight, seven, six, they'd usually play the six. But the robots are probably better at mixing that up. But let's use this uh, read. Okay, and hearts broke. So let's just uh, draw the last trump. Okay, and now I just want to rough a spade and then play a diamond towards my hand. Just protect against a singleton ace of diamonds. I don't think it's too likely, but uh, just a little bit of precaution there. Okay, and now I'll just play jack of diamonds. Okay, and we've got the rest of the tricks. And I can probably even organize the beer card at this stage. So that one should be decent. Um, so plus 980. So it's kind of an interesting spot where like trying to read the opponent's pips. Most people are like pretty cons like they don't try and false card you. The robots may try and do that a bit more. But uh, definitely something to keep an eye out for playing against humans, trying to work out which player actually has four card support by looking at the specific pips that uh, people have. Okay, so here we've got an eight count, one diamond, pass, one spade, so pass. One no trump, pass, pass. Um, so my partner's got some points, they presumably have some diamonds as well. Uh, but I'm going to try and compete with two hearts. It's quite frisky, but uh, I know my partner's got a reasonable hand there, and I've got a little bit of shape. So hopefully we can bring this home. Yeah, there's the diamonds we expected, um, and also the points. So my partner had 10, 14 points opposite my eight, which is 22. So 18 missing. It looks like West has 12, and East has. Six. I have two club losers, three spade losers. I can throw something away. I can throw away one spade. I could throw away one spade on a top diamond and try and trump one. I'm going to duck the first spade. It looks like spades are probably four three, but they could be five two. If East had five spades, they might have tried to get to two spades. Okay, so at this stage I just want to go ace of spades and trump a spade. Yeah, so West has three spades. I do have an issue making sure I don't lose uh, all the clubs. Okay, East has at least two diamonds. Let's try and work out what's going on in the shape. Okay, East has three diamonds. So West has four diamonds, three spades. They have to have four hearts. And I have a doubleton club, which uh, means my club will get uh, trumped, but that's okay. King of clubs? Yeah. King of spades. So, at this stage... Uh, West has queen to four hearts. They've also got four diamonds. I've got Dalton ace of clubs. If I rough in with the king of hearts... So roughing in with the ten of hearts is bad. I could discard a club. Doesn't really get me very far. I could also rough in with the uh, king of hearts. Okay, they're, they're my options. East West have won two tricks. I've won six. I need to win, find a way to get two more tricks. The King of Hearts is going to be another trick. 
and I need one more. I feel like if I discard a club, uh, West will get in some trouble. Have I miscounted their shape? They could be a four triple three. Looks like they're now a four triple three on diamonds. Okay, so we'll hop in with the King of Hearts. We know, well, we're fairly sure the Hearts offside, but uh, leader club West will win this. And I have to get a heart trick in the end here. Might have been able to make another trick there. Not too sure about that one. But uh, happy with two hearts. Uh, we might have been able to beat one no trump. Yeah, some people beat it two. Others just beat it one. Uh, a couple of people made nine tricks, but not the easiest one. I think it's okay. Um, on the deal, I could have made three hearts, so that was par, so, yeah. Anyway, we'll move on to board number five. So one no trump from my partner, and I've got 11 points. Going to check if we've got a 4-4 four, four heart fit, and then try for three no trumps. What the hell? What kind of stamina do they play? 15 and 17 points and exactly four hearts so I've got both majors I haven't never seen this sort of bid before um, don't particularly like it either but um, how do I get my partner to play four hearts or is it better me playing four hearts protects the clubs the diamond position is probably pretty decent from my side so I'm just gonna try and protect my clubs and diamonds might be wrong, it might have been better getting my partner to play it, but... No, nah, not really. Um, pretty similar. Anyway, uh, club lead. I have a diamond loser and a couple of heart losers. I want to try and draw trumps quickly. Just let this club float around to my hand. And... I'm missing the ace jack of hearts. I don't really have much more to go on, but I'm just going to try and draw trumps quickly. So, heart to the queen, and then probably a heart back to the eight. Looks like hearts are 4 1. Yeah. So, I want to preserve potential entries to my hand, so that's why I played heart to the eight and west ducked there. Uh, east through ace spade away. So, that's just untangle the clubs. Well, he's put in the uh, Jack of Clubs from Jack Fifth. Alright, they got their one rough and they now drew a Trump. And I want them to put in the Jack of Diamonds. But they didn't, and now we've got the uh, rest of the tricks. I think that should be okay. Uh, and we can claim. I don't think it'll be great, but slightly above 50%. Hopefully. 66%. So, one person made 11 tricks, but a lot of people going down or potentially playing 3 no trumps, which also wasn't as good. So, let's move on to board number 6. So, here we've got a flat 12 count, so I'm just going to open one club. One spade, just rebid one no trump. Two clubs, is this just to play? Uh, this is a relay bid. Um, what's two hearts show? Okay, let's try that. Three spades. At least five cards. Non-forcing, invite, yeah, let's try 3 no trump anyway. Probably should pass, there's more of a team's bid that I'm making, but um, give it a shot. My partner doesn't have an invitational hand, that did say it was an invite, right? Uh, so, at least five spades, non-forcing bid is how it described it, which seems kind of peculiar when I open this hand. So I'm glad I took my... Uh, aggressive bid and jumped up um, but 
Doesn't mean that we're necessarily making this. We've only got 25 highs and we got a diamond lead. Okay, so we've got three diamonds, three spades. I might be able to build an extra trick in spades or hearts. If spades break, then I've got five spades, three diamonds. Um, it looks like I want to play a heart towards the ten. If this forces out the ace, I have another uh, another trick ready prepared. Okay, let's test the spade suit now. I don't know if I'll be able to get there or not, which is kind of awkward. And making two discards isn't great. I can afford one club here. Okay, so the question is, do I uh, play another spade hoping to set something up there? So I've got three diamonds, three spades. I can build an extra heart. Um, I can build an extra two hearts potentially as well. Um, but I need a, some friendly layout here. East has king of diamonds and four spades. West found a passive lead. They probably have the ace of hearts. If I play another spade and ditch a club, that's dangerous. If I play another spade and ditch a heart, that's bad. I'm going to just try and set up my hearts. It's not looking great. Okay, um, so I lost to the Dalton Jack of Hearts. That was Hearts then didn't break, and I'm going to get N played here. I definitely oh they didn't play a diamond. I guess West is N played, so let's just hop in, cash that, and give up. So West has Ace Queen of Clubs. And yeah, could I have done better? I, I reckon people will be in two clubs, three spades. So lots of people in three no making, some down a couple. Let's just have a quick look at how most people made this, because the majority of people did. So they bid two diamonds over two clubs. So heart lead, spade, <coughs> alright so by going after four spades, three diamonds, and I uh, got the heart lead so they get two heart tricks all the time, um, whereas if I started with spades I would have had to discard quite a bit. They still haven't got three diamond tricks, but that defense was not the toughest. Um, I probably should have done better, but uh, pretty tricky one. I think I played it too quickly. Alright. Uh, board number seven. So here we've got 10, 12 points. So just start one heart. Two hearts. I'll just compete to three hearts. I've got a singleton spade. And here we go. Um, so it looks like a nice easy diamond lead. Okay. Um, so I can't really cut down them cross roughing much, so I don't see the point of switching to a trump. Depends whether the hearts can go away. I think playing a heart's okay if my partner's got the ace or the queen, and only costs if east has ace queen doubleton. So let's try and get our heart tricks. Okay, so now I feel like I should just play another heart. I don't want to open up the spades. They can cross rough as much as they want anyway. So spade, and now I can just afford to discard some hearts. East has five spades to the ace king jack. Okay, and my partner got a club trick, which is good. And they have the remainder. Yeah. 
So I reckon that one's okay. What? 37%? Wow. Alright, so some people are bidding four hearts. Bridge is not a dead game dot dot yet. Uh, so my partner's got a 10 count. So they were playing Akol, so their partner bid two clubs uh, over a one heart opening. That propelled them there. Other people doubled four spades. Like, my partner showed up with two defensive tricks, so I'm not really sure. Like, seeing this dummy, I wasn't really enthused about doubling them. My partner had a 10 count with two defensive tricks, so I think the double is quite aggressive here. Not my cup of tea. Um, yeah, and some people just went down in hearts, which, yeah. So, I thought that one would be good, but uh, anyway, still in, uh, running at 55%. One board to go, let's see if we can finish strong. Okay, so here we've got 12, 15 highs and 6 hearts, so 7 hearts, we'll start with 1 heart. There's three hearts forcing or invitational. No. Uh, so this is just a forcing bid. It says nothing else. And if I bid three hearts now, what, what's that? Yeah, it's just forcing with hearts. Okay, and we get to four hearts. Am I interested in any more? So I really had to push my partner here. If they have singleton heart, maybe doubleton heart. Yeah, I, I don't feel like slams on. This feels like we've, they've got a long club suit, I've got a long heart suit. I think that will have a couple of losers. I need my partner to have a really good hand to make slam. And I've got a quite a good hand, but uh, still not good enough. But a diamond lead, I've got a heart loser, I've got two spade losers. I can throw one... I can throw one spade on the ace of clubs and one spade on the uh, ace of diamonds. So with this diamond lead, it's picked that up. So now I can just start untangling things. And the queen nine of hearts will provide an entry at some point. If the opponent started with a spade lead, I would have been in trouble. But uh, let's not lead the king of hearts, that would be silly. So, low heart to the 9, they win. That's good news. <laughs> Otherwise, they'll get in a rough. So, they had a singleton diamond and a singleton... No, Dalton... Yeah, I, and... They had a Dalton diamond and a singleton heart. I have this spade loser here. Um... I could have drawn an extra trump there, I sort of just got ahead of myself. It, it won't ever work with uh, West showing out here. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm just going to lose one trick there. Could be okay. So this was the Funbridge tournament. 83% 4 hearts making 11. Some people in six hearts going down, some in three no trumps. I guess the real thing here was trying to work out how to set up a forcing auction. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this uh, weekly tournament, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.